Well, the ball stopped moving. That, that same thing we got to really, that's when you really have to trust. Um, and then I, I thought we just started breaking down from the standpoint of uh, we turned it over a couple times and then the three point line. We had done a great job the whole game, I thought, for the most part, defending the three, and then we gave up like back to back threes. And, um, you know, I had a few breakdowns of uh, what our low man defensively coming over to help. But overall, I was really happy with our defense. I think we had 16 steals mm -hmm. in three quarters. Um, you know, that's, a, that's a monster team to try to defend. Uh, but uh, again, I was proud of our effort. And offensively, how did you see things shift in the second half when you gave the ball to Peyton? Oh, he just he, he turned our pace up. Uh, he started making plays for other people. Um, you know, like I said before, nothing was in stone. Mm -hmm. You know, all three point guards got to play tonight. Uh, Alfred really uh, took it up a notch and really helped, gave us a chance. What did you see from RJ? I told you, he's, he's, he's you know, popcorn's popping. That kid's ready. Is uh, RJ defensively? Uh, what, what's, uh, he was fantastic. I thought. I thought he really competed. He only had really one bad breakdown where he helped off the corner and gave up a three. But overall, I thought he, you know, he was playing both ends of the floor uh, at a high level. What, uh, what did you see from Dennis? Yeah. Still working. It's rhythm. I think it's just rhythm for him. You know, um, and just just find, finding himself again. And uh, you know, we'll get him there. It's, it's, it's tough to. You know, again, we we've, we've been together two and a half weeks to take three weeks and he got knocked out for a week or so in there so you know we just got to get him back into the rhythm and uh, get him feeling his teammates understanding his teammates and uh, you know it's a long season. Did you think you found this um, important? Maybe I'm going to watch the film and uh, Alfred absolutely put, it, put his foot forward and took it to heart and really wrapped up the competition but you know, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an open mind with this, and, and whoever fights their way out of that, you know, out of the pile, that's who's gonna get the nod. It seems like you want to run the offense through Marcus and uh, Randall early, especially. I mean, is that what you're going for? And then what you think of? Well, yeah, you know, uh, in, in some regards, yes, and then in other, other regards, we want the ball down. But those guys are, are extremely talented in certain areas on the floor. Um, you know, I thought they both played really good, uh, good floor games. They got other people involved. Um, they scored from different ranges. So, you know, again, it's, it's two and a half weeks we've been together. And, uh, you know, to compete against a team like that that's been together for at least three years. Uh, you know, I'm very proud of that effort. But from your vantage point, why that, that starting lineup? Why, why didn't it work with Trier and, and Dyer bringing up the ball? I gotta watch the film. Um, you know, I, don't, I think it was more than anything to start with jitters and just nervous energy uh, more than anything else. But I'm gonna get into the film, bond in, see what I see, and uh, you know, make my adjustments from there. Any concerns with Randall, Coach? You lost him at a very inopportune time. <laughs> no, uh, no, I think he's okay. He started cramping up, and uh, you know, obviously he's such a big piece to what we're doing. And um, you know, I thought for that stretch, that really hurt us.